All right, so today I want to talk about ladybugs and snake mites and ask the question, is it possible to use ladybugs to eradicate a snake mite infestation? And let me tell you, I definitely have experience with both ladybugs and snake mites. As a matter of fact, when I first started in bull pythons about seven years ago, I was buying a whole bunch of snakes over on Morph Market. I think I bought about 20 snakes in a six month period of time. I was bringing them in pretty fast. And sure enough, one of those snakes that I brought in had snake mites. And let me tell you, you do not want snake mites. Essentially what a snake mite is, it's almost like a, like a smaller version of a blood sucking tick, except it's really small. It's probably the size of like a, like a grain of black pepper. And they, they're mobile too, they can actually crawl pretty fast. I was actually surprised how fast some of those snake mites can move. And essentially what it'll do, the snake mite will burrow in between the scales on your ball python it'll burrow in so tight it'll almost look like a like a little freckle on your snake and it'll burrow in between to where you can't wipe off the freckle and then what it'll do after a period of time it'll actually move to a different spot on your snake and it'll leave behind a red welt to actually suck the blood from your snake and then you end up with all these little red spots all over your snake and if you get really bad infestations essentially what happens you get a, especially the white snakes they're completely covered with all these little red spots and then they get really lethargic and they won't eat and it's really uh, really a problem and let me tell you trying to get rid of snake mites it's an absolute nightmare I struggled with those mites for I, th I think I struggled with them for about three months, which is which is kind of crazy. I was going through every single tub. I was using a paper substrate. I was using paper towels, and I go through and change out the paper towels and spray it with a like an insecticide sprayer, trying to kill all the snake mites and wipe down my snakes. And and just by the time you know I I thought for sure that I tackled my snake mite problem, I get reinfected again. And I think what was actually happening is I'd have a snake mite that would kind of crawl on the floor or on the walls and then once I you know sanitize my racks after a period of time I would actually crawl back and reinfest my rack and I'd end up you know fighting them over and over and over and they multiply super quick so let me tell you if you have snake mites it's a real problem and one of the things you can use for snake mites they actually have a predatory mite that you can buy it's a mite that eats mites but it doesn't touch your snake it's kind of like a natural predator for snake mites the only problem with the uh, the natural predator snake mite is that it's really expensive especially if you're doing like a whole collection of like a hundred snakes or something like that it's not really practical to buy that many to you know fill up your racks with all these predatory mites so kind of on the flip side I thought maybe we could use ladybugs instead of the predatory mites and the thing that kind of brought it to my attention is actually upstairs in my living room I have the pretty much the whole living room is just all full of plants <laughs> pretty much wall to wall of house plants all over the living room I have my papayas you know six foot tall plants I have like 12 foot ceilings that they're gonna grow up big and it's it's like a jungle up there and I recently had a problem with aphids and spider mites on a lot of my plants and I've been using sprays I've been using the neem oil sprays I've been using pesticides that you put in the soil I've been trying all this stuff and it seems like it'll cut down in a little bit and then after a while it'll actually come back so I thought I need a predator that'll actually eat not only the aphids but the spider mites and come to find out ladybugs will eat both the aphids and the spider mites so I actually went over to Amazon. Believe it or not, on Amazon they sell live ladybugs. <laughs> they sell uh, the smallest packet I could find was 150 ladybugs uh, in a, in a little packet and. Uh, I didn't really want to release 150 ladybugs in my living room. <laughs> so when I got those ladybugs, I released just like, I think like 15 or 20 ladybugs. And within, I'd say within probably a week, week and a half, I was looking over all my plants. There wasn't a single aphid on any of my plants. They're extremely effective in getting rid of the aphids, which is pretty amazing. And then I had some extra ladybugs. I was thinking, all right, what do I do with these extra ladybugs? Because I don't really want to put them upstairs in my living room. I decided to put them in with my dubia roaches, thinking uh, I could actually put them in there temporarily. If I need some, I can kind of fish them out of 
about my doobie roaches. Come to find out, doobie roaches actually eat ladybugs. <laughs> like two days later, there wasn't a single ladybug in my doobie roach colony, which I did not know. So if you buy ladybugs, do not put them with your doobie roaches. And kind of the weird thing with ladybugs is they have a specific diet they actually need to eat uh, live food. So it's either the aphids or the spider mites. I've actually heard that you can actually uh, feed them like a sugar water or some nectar or something like that. But depending on the ladybug, uh, they won't reproduce if you, if you do that and don't have the aphids. So I went over to the internet and I started looking at ladybugs because I didn't really know that much about ladybugs. Come to find out, there's actually 6,000 species of ladybugs, which is overwhelming. So the ladybugs that I'm using is probably not the same ladybugs that you're using. As a matter of fact, some species of ladybugs, I actually went on Wikipedia and found this one species that was extremely polymorphic, meaning for the same species, it actually showed like 20 different pictures. It looked like 20 different beetles, but it was all the same species, which is pretty amazing. Another interesting thing about ladybugs is that there's other bugs that look exactly like ladybugs. So if you're to go outside and catch a ladybug, what you think is a ladybug, and bring it into your house thinking it's going to eat aphids, more than likely you probably didn't catch a ladybug. It's probably another type of beetle. And they say only the experts can really tell the difference between a lady, a true ladybug and the other beetles, which I thought was pretty interesting. The other thing about ladybugs is there's so many different versions of ladybugs. Uh, the ones that you buy, it, it's, it's really, you really have to pay attention to the species and what your intended purpose is when you're buying that ladybug. I've actually seen reports of, of some ladybugs actually eating the green leaves of some plants. So if you buy a bunch of ladybugs, you know, put them up in your living room to eat the aphids. And some of those ladybugs will actually eat your plants in addition to the aphids. So I was actually looking at my particular version of ladybug and come to find out with that version of ladybug if you don't feed it aphids it won't reproduce and that can be a problem too i've actually heard i was actually looking at some ladybug forums believe it or not they have whole forums devoted to ladybugs i was actually over there reading some of the forums and one guy was like whatever you do don't bring ladybugs into your house because you'll get rid of the aphids but then you'll end up with a ladybug infestation and you'll have a whole house full of ladybugs which could be really problematic. So it really depends on the species. You wanna find one, uh, as a matter of fact, I'll actually put a link below of the species that I got that I'm using to control my aphids. If you have snake mites, you might wanna try ladybugs. They're really cheap. I think it was only like $10 or something like that for like, I think it was like 150 ladybugs. And if it actually works, uh, you might wanna leave a comment underneath this video and just say what species of ladybug you use. That is critical as far as determining if your ladybugs will actually eat the snake mites. But it'd be kind of an interesting experiment. Probably what I do is I just take a few ladybugs, put them in each tub <laughs> with all your snakes. And you, I don't think you need that many. As a matter of fact, uh, I was looking at my particular ladybug and it said it would eat like, like 30 aphids a day or something like that. They can really eat a lot of aphids. So I don't think you need that many ladybugs to to eat your uh, snake mites. But the only thing is, is you would definitely want to get some that don't eat plants in case they get out in your house. And you want to get some that don't bite your snakes. I've actually seen reports of certain ladybugs, once they run out of aphids, they'll actually bite people, which is kind of crazy. Let me tell you, you, don't know, you do not want to let 150 biting insects go in your house. They run out of aphids and start biting people, which would be crazy. And then you'd, you have to figure out how to get rid of the ladybugs which could be just as, bad as, just as bad as the aphids, I would think. So I thought it was kind of an interesting concept. It's a little bit more complicated as far as just buying ladybugs and putting it in your snake collection because there's so many different species of ladybugs. So if you have snake mites, it'd be interesting to hear your response down in the comments below. Make sure you put the species of ladybugs. I'm definitely interested to see if this would work. And it would be a real you know, advantage 
to for the whole ball python industry if we could figure out an easy way to get rid of snake mites especially if you can let them kind of crawl around your room and all the stray snake mites that are kind of crawling on the walls and the floor you know you'll have the ladybugs that can kind of clean up all around your entire environment which would be really beneficial all right so that's pretty much it <laughs> good luck with your ladybugs and your snake mites and i will see you in the next video